I am not sure you understand just how unusual it is for the Admiral to invite an adventurer to a state banquet. It is a highly coveted honor. Why, even the officers under her direct command are rarely afforded such recognition. But I will not deny you have earned it. Many of the tasks you have performed in service to the Thalassocracy have been both difficult and dangerous. This is a reward for all of your efforts a nod to your many achievements, both large and small. Has the enormity of this moment yet to sink in? Perchance you will realize its significance when you stand before the assembled dignitaries of Limsalam and Sa. And now that I have imagined the scene, I realize that you will require attire suitable for the occasion. I suggest you visit the wench and see what Baderan can arrange. He is surprisingly knowledgeable about such things. Well, well, if it ain't Merle Wives guest of wonder. Of Nobbin with the eye and mighty, now, is it? I tell ya, lass, I damn near snorted ale out me knows when I heard the news. Ye be come a long bloody way, you Ave, and that's the truth. Well, one thing's for sure ye'll not want for a decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding Bismarck, no less. Tis a grand chance to fill your belly to burst in with fine and more importantly free food. But we can't have yet tuned up in your shite caked vent urine gear. No, the arrow of the hour needs to obey a touch of refinement about ER if only to stop folk complaint and when she stuffs ER face with cake. Take yourself over to the octant and speak to Jane Asheimo the Brug Air Consortium. She'll furnish ya with some it later like to wear. I've already had a word with ER, so all ya need do is pick up the goods, then bring em back air, so as I can tell ya what's what. Good evening, miss. I assume you're the underdressed Lady Vader mentioned? I see he was not exaggerating. Ahem. I've chosen these especially for your debut in polite society. Fear not, I'm certain you will absolutely adore them. Been to see Jane Asheim, Abe yet? Let's Abe that box, then. Here we go, a nice pair of dress shoes for yet. Alas, my tante Abe much else to ER name, but so long as she's got a decent pair of shoes on ER feet, there ain't nowhere she can't go. Think of them as a gift from me and all the other folk you've done right by along the way. I, I, tis a very moving gesture, I know. Just don't go well enough on me, eh. Wouldn't do for Limsa's new arrow to turn up at the banquet soaked in ER own tears and snot. 
Enterode, that's your garb sorted. Now, you just need to settle your nerves. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll tell you where you're meant to go. You're ready, then, are ya? Good. The banquet will be startin' soon. If ye'd waited any longer, I DVE considered it me civic duty to it ya over the EAD and drag ya there. Now, make sure you're wearin' them fancy shoes when ya turn up, alright? Carryin' em won't do no good. They're meant to make ya look like a lady, remember, not a lady's bleedin' lackey. As for directions, the feast's been held on the bridge, in the Admiral's brief-in room. Speak with Xanthal in Bulwark Hall, and he'll show you the way. Just keep that EAD LI, lass. After everything Yevee done for Limsa, Yevee good reason to be proud and don't let no eyeborn bugger tell you different. Dress shoes. Fancy dress shoes. An adventurer wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh. Now those are some fancy dress shoes. Come, adventurer, I will show you to the briefing room. Brothers and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this woman for her services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect her on her journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the Fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light. By the navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not? Of a towering crystal. You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision 
was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations. As once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. to the four. Victory belongs to the bold. Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of. The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Won't go down so easily. Eyes forward. We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Ah! 
Raging Grove. This is Matt Snake. Respond. Ryder! This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody half-wit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Morning, sunshine. All a bit much for yet, was it? What happened? Ah, you don't remember, then. 
ye keeled over in the middle o' the banquet, and caused a right stir. Add to carry ye back to the wench meself. Well, I say carry, twas more a matter o' dragon and rollin'. Too much cake, I reckon. Enterode, don't fret tis little wonder ye was exhausted after everything ye've been through lately. Your little nap seems to obby put some color back in your cheeks, though, so I'll leave ye to it. Bugger. I almost forgot, the admiral wants to obby a word with ye. When ye feel up to it, talk to Xanthal and he'll let ye into the command room. Oh, and stay awake, eh. I'm told old Merlewide was in the middle o' telling ye a story when ye started snoring last time, and I doubt she'd look kindly on it if he repeated the trick. Greetings, Mama. Admiral Blafeeswin awaits you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Ah, Mama, it is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered? Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing one I would entrust to no other. The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have not made other plans. To business, then. I have penned a letter to each of my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. The Battle of Cartino and the Calamity that followed claimed countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who were spared dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon an Eorzea we scarcely knew. Five years, and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship, and the warriors of light who might once have given them hope are gone. Yet we must press on regardless. We will never truly do so, however, till we have faced our past. To that end, I am proposing that a memorial service be held in each of the city-states on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartino. These letters contain the details of said proposal. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You have proven yourself a staunch and able ally to Limsa, but that is not my only reason for choosing you. No. I choose you because you possess a quality which puts me in mind of history's champions. A quality I feared lost. Say that you will perform this duty. I knew you would not disappoint me. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation, to the city-states of Gridania and Ulda. A grueling journey, to be sure, were you to travel by sea and land. But I mean to have you take to the skies. A 
an airship pass, to be used at your discretion. Airships bound for the nations of our allies leave from the landing connected to the bridge. But before you depart, I suggest you travel Baderin for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well traveled. Tis a pity I cannot issue such passes with a freer hand, as I did in more peaceful times, when births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the empire, and every voyage must needs be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in that opinion. There were other parties who would see you granted the privilege of air travel. I, Mama, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Full many see great promise in you. But I have flattered you enough. On behalf of Lim Salam and Sa and her people, I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatness of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no small thing. Back from your meeting with the Admiral, are yet? Personal bleeding envoy. So you'll be carrying the word of the Admiral herself to the leaders of the Alliance. Bugger me. I knew ye was going up in the world, but I didn't realize yet got that bloody eye. I'm proud oh yeah, lass. Thinking of how far ye be come, why, tis enough to bring a tear to me I. And that ain't the ale talking, neither well, not just the ale, at any rate. Bless the navigator for steering ye my way. Of course, this is only the start. Now ye be got your ants on an airship pass, the all of e or z is laid out before ye, like a fair maid on a feather bed. And she's a big girl, too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. If ye think us Laman Sans are characters, just wait till ye cross paths with the grim forest dwellers o grid Aniat, or trade coins with the crafty merchants of Ulda. And then there's the wild places where the beasties rule, and no bugger with an Anzo sense sets foot. But you're a venturer, so I wouldn't let a little thing like that old ye back. Of course, it ain't all exploring and excitement. There's an EAPO troubles what plagues every nation, see tainty just ours. I'm talking intrigue and infighting, beastmen and their god's damned primals I, there's an ugly side to life, and sooner or later, you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's bugger all out there as you can't handle. Summit tells me you're going to be just fine.
The realms added rough, tis true, but folk re-begin to recover from the beat and the calamity dealt him. Call me an hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to turn things round. Tis the perfect time for a venturer like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are ye waiting for? Greetings, madam. This is the counter for passengers traveling to Gridania. Wait, aren't you that famous adventurer? It's Mama Foxy, isn't it? I thought I recognized you. You are an inspiration to us all, madam. Highwind Skyways is at your disposal. Will you be traveling with us today? Attention, all passengers, the airship bound for Gridania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Good fortune to you, Mama. The day'll come when your name means the same as arrow to the folk of this realm. May you walk in the light of the crystal.
our invincible flagship is lost, and all hope of victory with her. So ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Ah, uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek.
Ah, you must be the envoy from Lim Salamansa. Welcome to Gridania, madam. The Elder Seed Seer awaits your arrival. Greetings, good madam. You are the Lamansan envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper, and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nafika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand, where the elder seed seer awaits. You are the Lamansan envoy? Begging your pardons, madam, but might I inspect the missive you bear? Verily, this is the seal of the Admiral of Limsa Lamansa. Please come with me. are the Lamincin envoy and an adventurer besides the realm owes much to you and yours on behalf of our fair nation I bid you welcome please allow me to introduce myself I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. A Remembrance Service for the Fallen of Cartino.
to think that five years have already come and gone. It seems like only yesterday that the Garlean Empire attempted to seize all that we hold dear. Rising in resistance, the city-states of Eorzea formed the Grand Companies, and joined hands in alliance. But unbeknown to us, the Garleans sought not to best us in battle, but moved instead to enact a terrible plot, the Meteor Project, by which the Lesser Moon, Dalamud, would be torn down from the heavens to annihilate all life below. In a desperate bid to save the realm from certain destruction, our forces marched for the Cartino Flats, and there met the Viath Imperial Legion. More bloody a battle I have never seen, and would never wish to see again. Yet the carnage was but a prelude to the atrocity which followed. For despite our best efforts, Dalamud continued its descent, and from it emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who proceeded to rain fire upon Eorzea. The Viath Imperial Legion was consumed in the blinking of an eye, while our own forces fared little better. That any among us were spared defies explanation. All seemed sure to perish. As the flames converged upon us, I prepared myself for death, only for a brilliant light to envelop me, relieving me of my senses. When at last I awoke, the hammock was gone, and the land, which had but moments before been aflame, now seemed to me a place unknown not simply ruined, but changed. Archon Lusoix may well have been able to shed light upon these mysteries, but he, like so many, never returned from Cartino. And so we were left with countless questions, and no prospect of an answer. Yet such matters did not long occupy our thoughts, for we had far graver concerns. The calamity, as the devastation wrought by Bahamut has come to be known, laid our nation's night to waste, and to this day we struggle to rebuild our lives and homes. To compound matters, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, while the empire encroaches upon our borders, consolidating its foothold in Eorzea. The outlook, in short, is bleak. In the wake of the calamity, it has been all each nation could do to nurse its own wounds. Yet if we are to weather the coming storm, we must needs stand united once more. A remembrance service may well present an opportunity to rekindle the spirit of unity which first gave rise to the Alliance. I wholeheartedly approve of the Admiral's proposal. The necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridania. You have done the people of Eorzea a fine service this day, and I would not put you to further trouble. I shall see that my reply reaches the Admiral Anon. You, meanwhile, are bound next for Ulda, are you not? Please send the Flame General my regards. Ah, and if you would be so kind, I should appreciate it if you would inform him that a pet of mine has been ill-behaved of late my wolf, to be precise. Needless to say, he must be brought to heal and I would very much welcome the General's counsel on how this might be achieved. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safe to Ulda and beyond. <laughs>